In this video, we'll be creating a journaling template in Notion. You can use this template to start or build your journaling habit. The main tool we'll be using in this project is Notion. You can sign up for an account at notion.so. If you go to the page titled Pricing, you'll see that they have a free plan. We're going to be using that. It will be sufficient for much of your personal needs. As well as Notion, we'll be using Emojipedia.org briefly. For convenience, I've timestamped this video in the description. To begin, you'll need to create an account. Click Get Started and you can sign up for an account with an email or by using Google or Apple. As I've already created a Notion account, I'm going to click Login. And I'm going to sign into my Notion account so we can begin work on this project. Upon creating a new account, you may get recommended various templates by Notion to kickstart your journey with the tool. For this project, I've deleted all the recommended templates as we'll be building our journal in Notion from scratch. As you'll likely be journaling regularly, you'll want to keep track of each entry. Therefore, we must begin by creating a table. Before we create a table, I want to click on the ellipses in the top right and set the style to mono. Everything else I will leave the same. Of course, this is a personal preference. Now under the database heading, click table. That will turn our page into a table. In this table, we'll store each journal entry. Let's title this table journal. On the left, we can see that our page name has changed to journal. If we click the icon next to it, it will open up emojis from which we can select. I'll find the memo emoji to represent our journal. Now I want to create some headings for our table. That will essentially give us a snapshot of each journal entry. First, I want entry. That should have the property type of title. Hence, we can enter the title for each journal entry. Second, I want date. That should have the property type of date. Here, we can enter the date for each journal entry. Third, I want location. That should have a property type of text. Here, we can enter the location for each journal entry. And fourth, I want rating. That should have the property type of select. Here, we'll be able to rate each journal entry. What we've done is create the foundation for each journal entry. Let's move on to creating the template for each journal entry. Each row is essentially a new page for a journal entry. Hovering over the first cell under Entry, you'll see that Open appears. Let's click Open to create our template. I'm going to click Open as a page so it expands the view. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the ellipses in the top right and set the style to mono. Everything else I will leave the same. Of course, this is a personal preference. First, let's start with the top half of the page. You'll notice that these are the headings that we created in our table. Title, I'll write Ravinda's journal, number 001. The idea is that I will keep this consistent with each entry, incrementing the number. Date, I'll select today's date. Location, 
all right where I'm filming this. Birmingham, England. Rating. Here, the idea is that you'd be able to select a star rating from one to five, depending on how good your day was. Let's get the star rating set up. Go to emojipedia.org, find the star emoji, copy it, back to Notion. I'm going to paste one star into rating and click create. I'll do that again for two stars, again for three stars, again for four stars, and similarly for five stars. Now, if we click rating, you'll see that we have the options. Furthermore, this will appear in each new journal entry. However, I do want to change the background color of the stars. To do this, hover over a rating, click the ellipses, and change the color. I'll select gray. I'm going to do that for each star rating. That's the top half of our journal complete. Let's move on to the bottom half of our journal. To begin, press forward slash to open up all the Notion commands. Find and select call out. You can do so by simply typing call out. For the text, you'll want to enter morning. We can click on the emoji next to it to change it. Let's find sun. And if we hover over the call out, click the ellipses, we can make sure that the color for the background is set to gray. We need to duplicate the callout block we created. So hover over the callout, click the ellipses, and click duplicate. For the text for this callout, we'll want to enter evening. We can click on the emoji to change it. Let's find moon. Under morning, Let's create the first prompt in our journal. Press forward slash on your keyboard to open up all the commands. Then find the H3 title. Once you've found it, select it. For the text, let's enter what am I grateful for? Let's create the second prompt under morning. Again, Press forward slash on your keyboard to open up all the commands, then find the H3 title. Once you've found it, select it. For the text, let's enter, how can I make today great? Now, I want these prompts side by side. To do this, drag one of the prompts and place it to the side of another. That looks better. Also, underneath each prompt, I want a divider. If we go below one of the headings and press forward slash, we can find the divider. I want that for the other prompt as well, so let's repeat that. Further, underneath each prompt, I want a numbered list. The numbered list will simply run from one to three. For each numbered list item, I'll just enter a hashtag. Let's also repeat that for the other prompt under morning as well. Those are the morning aspects of our journal. Let's do the evening. Under evening, let's create the first prompt in our journal. Press forward slash on your keyboard to open up all the commands, then find the H3 title 
Once you've found it, select it. For the text, let's enter what great things happened. Let's create the second prompt under evening. Press forward slash on your keyboard to open up all the commands. Then find the H3 title. Once you've found it, select it. For the text, let's enter how can I improve tomorrow. Now, I want these prompts side by side. To do this, drag one of the prompts and place it to the side of another. That looks better. Also, underneath each prompt, I want a divider. If we go below one of the headings and press forward slash, we can find a divider. I want that for the other prompt as well. So let's repeat that. Further, underneath each prompt, I want a numbered list. The numbered list will simply run from one to three. For each numbered list item, I'll simply enter a hashtag. Again, let's repeat that for the other prompt under evening as well. So we have a numbered list from one to three, and we'll simply put a hashtag in as dummy text. The template is done. Let's talk about how you'd use it. You've created your journaling template in Notion. Let's talk about how to use your journaling template. You'll gain the most benefit from journaling if you do it daily. So, every day, you'd come into this template to do the following. Title, increment the number. For example, if it's entry number two. Date, change the date. You'd want it to be the date of your entry. Location, enter your location, not where you are writing from. Rating, rate your day. Of course, this is for the evening. Morning, take a few minutes to write three things you are grateful for and three things you could do to make your day great. Evening. Take a few minutes to write three things that happened today and three things you can improve on tomorrow. Then, if you never get back to your table, journal, you'll have a snapshot of your entries which serve as great reflection material. Going forward, this is how you'd create another entry. Hover over a previous entry, click the ellipses, select duplicate. You can then move it to the top, open it up and start your new entry. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest no code projects that I publish every week, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no code project.